I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something.
It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. Uh Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me by the bell. I can guess you that she had to get together quickly to keep it safe, presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. The magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That's him. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. No. It's magic. Oh my god!
God damn it. Neil down the hatch. What happened? <laughs> Poor George. I can't believe him. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid air? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Okay, sorry about sorry. the mic issues. Okay, so, real quick, um, so during the intro I was trying to talk and I had no clue that my mic wasn't working. I'm terribly sorry about that, I had no clue. And then I went on I figured it out, it took me a little while to figure out exactly how to get it to work. So if anybody out there is streaming with a PS5, make sure your mic is not muted during the broadcast. Even though on the system it's not muted, make sure in the broadcast it's also not muted. Otherwise you'll run into the same issue. So anyways, as I was trying to say, um, usually when I play a game for the first time, I generally start off on the easier mode. And I work up to the harder mode. Um, regarding the controversy of this game, I don't care. I really, I just, I don't. Uh, I've wanted to play this long before the controversy started. When I heard about it, when I first heard about it and stuff, and I've been excited. And it kept getting pushed back. I was going to get this game regardless. If anything, the controversy really made me all too more happier to play the game. So, um, for anybody who's watched this channel, you will know that I'm an author. And I have a very similar story. Not exactly the same. I mean, there's a lot of differences between my book series and Harry Potter. I will say mine might be better than Harry Potter, mainly because there's no plot holes in my story. Like, everything has a reason. Everything gets explained. Not in, grus not in great details, but enough so you know what's going on and why. Um, so there's no problems, basically. One of the major things I kept in mind as I was writing my story, I didn't want there to be any issues. So anyways, um, I am going to be playing this, and if anybody leaves a comment, and I want to address it, I will. If you leave a comment and you just ask, want to ask a question, I'll do my best to answer your question. Um, I probably will keep bringing up my books. <laughs> so, if you ever, if you are, in, if you are a reader and you do like the Harry Potter series, I definitely suggest checking out my book series, The Guardian of Light. Um, it's an epic fantasy series. 
based around a man who becomes a wizard. Not just any wizard, though. He becomes Santa Claus. And this goes far beyond Christmas. Basically, when I was writing the story, um, somebody challenged me to write a story based on Santa Claus. I said, okay. And from there, I was like, well, what can be done with Santa Claus that's never been done before? What if I go beyond Christmas? So, yeah, like the first book revolves around Christmas time, but book two goes beyond that. Book three goes beyond that. Book four comes back around to Christmas again, but, you know, it's not just Christmas related. It's what does Santa Claus do the rest of the year kind of a deal. Um, so basically in the first book, the premise is, is that a magical prison in the South Pole has been destroyed and all the worst villains throughout history have been set free and somebody is trying to take over the world, kind of. Um... They're using these mythological heat villains to their own means. And one of the villains actually kills off the current Santa Claus. So now the North Pole, which is not just elves, it's a whole variety of races. They have to join together and train and recruit a new Santa Claus to take the place. Why? Because Santa Claus is the guardian of light. The w person that protects the light of the world from the forces of evil. So, there's more to who Santa Claus is. And... That was something I was surprised never was really touched on in the Harry Potter books. Was um, was Santa Claus a wizard, you know? I think that would have made great strides. But, yeah, as we go through, as I play, um, you might hear me mention it. You might hear me bring it up. The Guardian of Light, it's on Amazon. Go check it out. It's definitely worth your time. It's definitely worth a read. Story-wise, I say the story is better than Harry Potter. There's so much epicness, and it's just a solid, good story, in my opinion. Of course, I'm biased, and I, I've i actually become more confident due to the fact that the more people who have started reading my books, they've actually gone, wow, you're really good. Like, this is really good. I like this, which I really wasn't expecting. I mean, I thought I was okay. I thought I was decent. But the people who have read it, who have listened to the audiobooks, they have really liked it. And we're getting ready to release the fifth audiobook in the near future. I'm working on the last book of this main series. I've got plans to continue the series on after because I got into this whole like world building thing that just blew up and really gave me so many options where to go with this world that I created. And so I probably will be exploring different avenues and going with different themes for each different arc. Because that's kind of what this is turning into. It's almost like a manga, except for it's not in it, like no cartoon, no manga panels, but it's all words. But the arcs, it's got an arc style. So if you're an anime fan or a manga fan, you might really enjoy reading this or listening to this because it's very similar to manga in that way. Uh, I have a friend who you've probably seen on the channel, Anime D Senpai, who he likes it and he keeps uh, a lot of times saying oh this is like this anime or like this anime and then he says have you watched this like for instance Naruto there was something in book one that really kept reminding him of Naruto and he was like did you ever watch Naruto I'm like no I 
never watched Naruto, ever. I don't want to watch Naruto. Mainly because there was a big war between Naruto fans and Yu-Gi-Oh fans, but you can take a guess which one I was based on the name I picked. Um, but yeah, uh, so I never watched Naruto, and he's like, well, you basically encapitalized or encased something that happens in Naruto. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Being I've never watched or dived into it at all. So, um, all right. Well, I guess we should go ahead and get this started. Um, don't know where my daughter is. So here's the plan. Um, originally we were going to wait until PS4 copies came out, but a lot of people are doing this now. And so, I wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. So I said, okay, well, I want to pick up PS5 anyway. So I'll get the PS5 version. And then when my daughter starts, hers, she's going to do it on the PS4. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so basically when the PS4 version comes out, she'll be playing on her game with the PS4 and I'll still be playing on this and I'll be able to help her out with things because I'll be able to say oh well I already did that so you know this is what you gotta do I was a little shocked there was no main menu to begin with um, it just basically jumps straight into getting the game going so it's going to be interesting to see what turning it off and back on is going to entail but alright you guys are here to watch me play so enough with the chit chat I'm sorry I had to do this now I wanted to just jump into playing but uh we had that cut scene and I was trying to figure out my mic situation and that's why we had to do this now so alright here we go on to Hogwarts Legacy Oh, uh, there's a skull. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those roads. Do you think the poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, sir, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Really? I mean, come on. It looks really clear. <laughs> Mind your step. Why? I can't fall off. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare king oh, wait. seems to have been lost to time. Is it here? Yeah. I think it's over here. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the book key. Uh, but I am certain it was to do with that search. I missed the chest That's somewhere. The down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Mary wanted to understand why such Oh wow. Well. is the one who wields it. 
go on. Oh, wait, uh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this <sighs> Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic care. Uh... There should be a place where the path Maybe it's here? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Yeah, I didn't miss it. I'm building my fortune. Just ahead. Okay. Steady yourself. Repair Like this strange statue? No? Professor, this statue? This may have been his home. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. <laughs> Can we climb the mines? No. Hey! 
Wake up! Wake up, I'm here! Hello? stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. I smell trickery.
What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! <laughs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing Time to charm. learn a new spell. Like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Bum, bum. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Revelio the Gringos. Who says we're angering gods? seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. <coughs> you seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Second spell. You require to watch how the rest. Okay. Oh. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Get 
But I want the chest. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. A rather bad piece of magic. Running into pillars. What'd you do, Perry?
rebellion. The door of death. Hey, that's mine. Hey, don't pour my potion out. I might want to drink that. Wonder what would happen in the Harry Potter universe if somebody drank someone else's memories. Like you just open the bottle and drink it. Percival. I wonder if he's a relation of Dumbledore. Enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path. Elvis. Bry. Elvis. Percival. Bry. Wolfred. Dumbledore. Here's your empty bottle. Choose your next words wisely. I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 are quite clear. 
Sir, I, I must insist. I was to have access only to one with the key, and you did Ooh, not the right thing to say. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. I mean, come on, at this point, it's an empty bottle. Are we really gonna fight over an empty bottle? Oh, that was timing. <laughs> Are you all right? Fight, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. <laughs> like he maybe has something that absorbs your magic. It seems those who set up the defense lock it and the path to both. Wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come, we have a sorting ceremony to get to. Hogwarts Legacy. This is gonna be so good. You know what I really want to see? I want to see them make a TV series that's the origin story of the four founders coming together, building the school. That's what I really would want to see. I think that'd be amazing. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. And if the controversy is to be believed, seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and he warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you Lock keep all it. that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I'll talk more after the... Um... God, this guy looks like he's straight out of the Disney Christmas Carol movie. <laughs> Expecting Jim Carrey's voice to come out of him. <laughs> I would say good day, sir. The headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The Sounds a little bit like him. There were Complications. 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 Enough. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're not God, he's so over the top. <laughs> I'll be in touch.
Oh gee, I wonder what house I'm going to be sorted into. If you've watched my Harry Potter video, we be we mentioned it. and preconceptions certain expectations I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts indeed Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student and what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well mm. oh but you're brave at heart exceptionally daring undaunted by the unknown willing to forge ahead alone when you must yeah. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor. Unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Did we not get to eat dinner? I mean, you just finished the sorting. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their column? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Wonder if it's going to change like ten times throughout the game. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night in Hogwarts. Sleep well. I mean, I am a bit hungry. Didn't you give me any food? Looks like everyone's gone. Ugh. All right, so where's our trunk? Do we not have a trunk to store our stuff? My bed is number 13.
I wonder what's up here. Which way is the common room? Level one lock. Uh, might wanna. What are you looking at? I eat something. Be the next butter sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gary. Another Weasley. Can't believe it. Glad you and Figure all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. No. Friend of Professor Figs. No idea. Oh, oh. Didn't mean Are there to pry. people? Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well, and she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. You must be the grandfather of the Weasley twins. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you have a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Are you having Butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Alright, one down. One to go. Or two to go. Can't jump. If I get I shot Why is everyone so highly strong? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Well, hello. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Oxfire. Yeah, I got I that. I told about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? No. No. It is true, but I, uh, we handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. 
either in our common room or when you scale the next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh, oh hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that your Professor Fink's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. All right, all right, here I go. Ah, uh, have to remember that. Yeah, the common room entrance looks nothing like in the movies. Good morning. Let's said, Oh, let's get rid of the tunnel. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Put it to the test. All right, if we must. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Ah, there we go. I want to turn the music down just a little. Uh, 
How do I? I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of Paul Barufi. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Mm -hmm. Revelio. You just unlock the field guide, your progress is completed. Yay! Okay, so I gotta press and hold that for this menu. Oh, there we go. Inventory. Oh, gear. That's what we want. Okay. <laughs> Just looks silly. Where's my uh, stuff that I unlocked when I started the game?
good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. <coughs> Alright, so... Central Hall. Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little receptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is brilliant at our storage. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. 
It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, it sounds like you've got to go ahead with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious rocket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your hands may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. There it is. Hey. Thank you. So I don't think I'm going to do. Eh, that's funny. But anyway, as I was saying, so I think a TV series based on the four founders would be very interesting to see. Yeah, you can't do anything remotely dangerous. Below me. Is it in the restricted section? Yep. Which I can't get it to yet, so. Oh, 
I was going the wrong way. Don't you kids have classes to go to? Okay, why do I keep hearing that chime? Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. It's the it was Simple, if I must say so myself. Is by <laughs> we'll start with you two. Do you rest? Take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want a fair duel using only Levioso, Basil Cast, and Protego. You may begin. Case 
Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what we do today is in the we can expect great things from you. I do Terrible. For my students. Great. And they must achieve it. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of bungalows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sam will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out to So, the secret society that's supposed to be a secret from the teachers isn't really oh, secret. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hamilton's hotel. If you know the right spell, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was the first days. Not anymore. Hmm. <laughs> they just can't ever get a mirror down in. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that too was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wound. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. <laughs> Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you won't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned junior organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. You are as wise value. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's George or secret junior club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere on the section. We'll see if you're one person can't make up their mind. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. People keep hopping in and hopping out, Until hopping in, hopping out. All right, woo! We did it. We did it.
Rebellion. <laughs> I saw. I guess it was one of them. Probably level up just wandering around collecting up these pages first. This Weasley's classroom. Yeah, a lot of people talk bad about the Weasleys, but you know, Fred and George are Weasleys, and they were pretty cool. So even if you don't necessarily like Ron, there's other Weasleys besides Ron. Rebellion. You know, they should make, like, a strategy guide that has, like, all the information you need to play this game. Like, all the maps and all that stuff. But they should call the book Hogwarts A History. Locks. Folks, well, I think that's going to end this live stream. Just wanted to go ahead and get started. Get into this. Next time, we'll get 
my wand, finish the classes for the day. <laughs> it has been a very long day for me, and I still have to cook dinner and stuff. So, before we go, let's see. I don't know. How do I save the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. There we go. Save game. All right. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this live stream. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'll probably get an earlier start tomorrow. So we'll have a much longer live stream. For sure. Because uh, don't got too much to do tomorrow so i should be able to definitely start earlier so once again thank you so much please be sure to subscribe and make sure to click that notification bell because whenever i get a new set of 10 um i give away a free code from a random movie whatever new or whatever movie code i have i have a couple and uh yeah so uh be sure to subscribe click the notification bell and keep watching the videos because you never know when we're gonna finally hit that next uh, 10 and there could be a free movie in it for you so it is first come first serve you do have to watch the videos to find the codes because i will put them in there randomly so all right, thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.